Johnson & Johnson's reputation as one of America's most trusted consumer brands is at stake after a court ruling in Oklahoma found the company at fault with regard to the part it has played in the opioid crisis. The drug maker has been ordered to pay $572 million for the role it played in fueling Oklahoma's opioid addiction crisis. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, opioids have been involved in nearly 400,000 overdose deaths in the U.S. from 1999 to 2017. Since the year 2000, over 6,000 people in Oklahoma alone have died from opioid overdoses. Earlier in the year, the state of Oklahoma settled with OxyContin maker Purdue Pharma for $270 million and Teva Pharmaceutical for $85 million. The Johnson & Johnson case is the first to go to trial out of several thousand lawsuits filed against opioid makers and distributors. Johnson & Johnson have vowed to appeal the judgment, stating, The decision in this case is flawed. The state failed to present evidence that the company's products or actions caused a public nuisance in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. This judgment is a misapplication of public nuisance law that has already been rejected by judges in other states. Sabrina Strong, outside counsel for Johnson & Johnson, said we have sympathy for all who suffer from substance abuse, but Johnson & Johnson did not cause the opioid abuse crisis here in Oklahoma or anywhere in this country. The Oklahoma case was brought by the state's attorney general, Mike Hunter, who commented after the ruling that Johnson & Johnson will finally be accountable for thousands of deaths and addictions caused by their actions. There's no question in my mind that these companies knew what was going on at the highest level. They just couldn't quit making money from it, and that's why they're responsible. The company's share price initially rose after the ruling, as analysts wrote that the $572 million fine was lower than some had expected and far less than the $17 billion that the state had requested. The judgment, however, has opened the way for far more uncertainty. The company has been named in a mass litigation brought by 2,000 municipalities set for trial in October. There is now speculation that the Oklahoma verdict could attract the attention of further plaintiffs, including state attorneys general who have to date been more focused on Purdue Pharma the makers of the opioid OxyContin. Purdue Pharma have to date offered in the region of between $10 billion and $12 billion to settle cases brought against it and is rumoured to be considering bankruptcy as a result. Johnson & Johnson is likely able to bear the immediate financial costs of more cases, with the company currently holding $14.4 billion in cash and equivalents at the end of last quarter. However, it potentially faces much greater reputational damage.